I've been watching this jumping spider chase a fly that's trapped between my screen door and my glass door for like 10 minutes now. And every time it almost gets the fly, the fly gets away. If it doesn't catch the fly by the end of the video, we will feed the jumping spider. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be feeding all of my ladies. These are my female tarantulas, not including slings that I have that are suspect. On the menu today, we will have super worms and we will have wax worms. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> we are going to try to feed my newest female tarantula. This is my S. Hoffmani. And let's see if she'll take a super worm. She's very curious about it. Look how cute her little horn is. Isn't it so cool? Okay, I'll update you guys and let you know if she eats this, but she did just eat like three crickets a couple days ago, so I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't. So I wanna keep up with the horn theme and I thought we'd feed my C. Darlini next. Oh! The worm is beside her. <laughs> there we go. She's always been a pretty decent eater, so it doesn't surprise me that there is no hesitation there. All right, so let's feed my last horned tarantula that I have. This is my C. Marshali, and she recently got rehoused into this enclosure. And so I got this really cool piece of cork bark that I thought she would love, and instead she built her home right here. Look at her horn. I think hers is the biggest. This is my L. striatopes, who I don't really see much. She's still pretty small, but I bought her as a confirmed female. Since she did have a large superworm recently, I will just give her a wax worm and see if she's hungry. All right, well, unfortunately, it looks like she will not come out to eat, but I do think that she will eat it later. Okay, look at this girl, you guys. She has grown so much, and she's also a water dish flipper. Let's try to find a nice size superworm for her because she's still a little small after that molt, and I want to plumpen her up. <laughs> awesome. She's such a good eater. She is so ready for Halloween. Right, we have my still bald Aphonopilma calcodes female. She's generally a pretty good eater. I'm still kind of waiting for her to molt, but that's just not happening anytime soon, I guess. Hey, she... I don't know. Oh, she just... Okay, she got it. <laughs> Very large fangs for such a docile tarantula. <laughs> so we have my female H. chiliensis. I do have another that I also believe is female, but that one is not confirmed. This girl is, so I thought we'd try feeding her. However, I don't think she will eat in front of us because she's a very secretive eater. So I thought I'd just put a wax worm up there and see if she gets it. Oh, wow, I think that's the first time I ever got her to eat on camera. A very special occasion. Maybe that's the secret. I've never given her a wax worm before. Maybe that's her favorite and that's why she always is so fickle about eating. This is my green bottle blue and I actually got her when she was an itty bitty little sling. Now she is a juvenile female with her adult colors and she looks amazing. She's usually hungry so I have a feeling she'll come get that. She is down there, and I guess she does still have a little bit of the sling patterning on her abdomen, but generally she's got the green carapace and the bright blue legs. This is my Aphonopelma hensi, and unfortunately it looks like she has barricaded herself inside, and I don't think we're going to be able to feed her today because she might be in pre-mold. She does have a little secret window right there, but as you see, she is hiding away, and I 
typically don't feed them when they have sealed their entrances off like that. So dusty, I know. So this is one of my favorites. And although I have not confirmed that she's female, she is very female looking. I did have somebody look at her vent and they believe that she is female. I also believe she looks very female. So although I haven't had a molt to confirm that just yet, because the last molt she had was very chewed up, unfortunately, I still consider he, her female until proven otherwise. So I'm going to include her in this video. But this is my Afonopilma Uera. Not really sure how to say it, but it's also commonly known as the California Ebony. She happens to be one of my favorites. Let's give her a really big worm. <laughs> Wrestling it. So I honestly have four Afonopelma Samani and two of them are female. One of them is unsexed and one of them is male. And I confused one of the females for one of the males. So I'm not 100% sure if this is the male or the female, but I'm pretty sure it's the female. Let's go ahead and feed. This is my other female Afonopelma Samani and she has kind of hidden herself. <laughs> okay, so she was hungry, good. So usually I can't get this girl to eat worms, but I figured we could try. She got it. My avicularia avicularia morph type six. Really trying to get my rose hair off of the wall so I can open it and she just keeps crawling back up. <laughs> there we go. I just want to feed you. Now she's all wet. <laughs> Come on, yay! She has water on her because I to get her to get down but this is my female brachypilma vegans i kind of feel like she might be in pre-molt but we can try feeding her anyway <laughs> okay i guess not So I just noticed that the jumping spider caught the fly. Do you guys want to see? Good job, little buddy. You saved a fly from getting into my house. I'd much rather have you be in here than that. <laughs> so this is one of my newer confirmed females. I bought her as a suspect female and she just molted finally. And it was like totally female. So happy about that. Because if you guys remember, my first tarantula was a Brachypilma abopilosum. His name was Wester and he matured into a male and unfortunately passed earlier this year. I do have a couple Brachypilma abopilosum slings and their hobby form, just like Wester was, but she is the wild Nicaraguan form. So I was super thrilled to find that she was in fact female. And her appetite is great. She is very feisty for a Brachypilma abopilosum, but I do hear that the Nicaraguan forms are generally more feisty. I'm not sure how true that is. I guess it's just a rumor, but if you have a Nicaraguan and you think it is feisty, comment down below and let me know if it's not just mine. All right, so we do have Pikachu and I do think that she just recently ate two super worms, so I don't have high hopes that she's gonna eat today, but we can try. Now she is not like your typical grandma's doll polar peas. She actually does threat pose me like crazy. And I don't know if it's because she is nearing pre-molt. And if that's the case, then I want her to molt ASAP before I try to breed her. Or if it's just because she is a very feisty girl. So not really sure. She's so big, you can see her eyeballs. 
also here is my H Villa Silla. So she is crazy. And as you see, she is webbed like mad. Look at her. Oh, she got it. Oh, it's so hard to see how pretty she looks with this lighting, unfortunately. There she is. Look how pretty she is. Right, and you guys already know this girl is one of my total favorites in my collection. This is my Ephibopus Moranus, the skeleton leg tarantula. And although she is a little on the feisty side, it's mostly directed towards food. So let's feed her. I am sure she's hungry because she's always hungry. I know she's one of your guys' favorite too, so that's why I saved her for last. So beautiful. If you don't own this species, you are missing out. And yes, Pecco, I'm talking to you. You need to get one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. And I also have a Patreon linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.